Well, having no income tax in Washington State is a major competitive advantage because it attracts people to our state that want to work here. It also attracts capital, people that want to invest in our state. And so in attracting that talent, it builds a virtuous cycle of investment and innovation and economic opportunity. Having no state income tax is a huge benefit for young companies, new companies, and people that are really striving to create something. And I think that creates just a really wonderful environment here in Washington and that one that can provide some prosperity and opportunity for everyone. We're fortunate, we're unlike New York State in that we don't have a state income tax. And because of that, folks get to have more direct take home pay and they can choose to invest that however they want. I moved from California to Washington State two years ago and it's made a huge difference for our family. Um, every month, because there's no income tax in the state of Washington, it puts a little bit of extra money in our pocket so we can go out to dinner, um, we can put our son in after school programs like music and art, and at the end of the year we can take a family trip and have some really great experiences together as a family that we couldn't have had in a state like California. Well, I think as a state, we have benefited from the lack of an income tax. In the last six years, is a very good example. There was a choice to be made back in 2010 in our state about whether to have an income tax or not, and we chose not to have one. And for some people, the surprise is that our taxes in our state have actually increased by $10 billion in the last six years. And so we actually have more tax revenues from the types of taxes that we have today, in sales tax, property tax, and the B&O tax, the revenue tax. So we have plenty of different types of taxes in our state and having taxes that encourage investment and growth and opportunity has actually generated more tax revenues for the citizens of Washington. If you look at a list of itemized whatever, it's just one thing after another that we are taxed for. Um, I just think about my budget and the way that I plan my life so I know that that keeps money in my household more than having to go and file taxes in order to try and get a tax return to get that back. Uh, it helps out with groceries. I'm young, I'm 21 years old, so I have an apartment that I'm trying to save for a house to buy eventually. Even if it's at a small percentage, 1%, 2%, 5%, um, that really adds up. If you look at your family budget, um, you know, a few percent here and there actually adds up to real money. For most families and most people, um, makes a huge difference in the quality of life. Having that money month to month is uh, more helpful for families, I think, to get by. It's actually one of the reasons I live here. When we were in California, we used to have to pay income tax, and uh, it was just another chunk of your paycheck that you couldn't use to pay bills and buy groceries. My pocket feels it, my family feels it, and I just, I'm dissatisfied by it. So. Uh, it, it was a good consideration when I moved. I moved here from Texas, so they don't have an income tax either. So it was an even move for me. What's What's really great about Washington State is that it's one of nine states that doesn't have an income tax. Um, it's really business friendly and I moved some of my business here. When I came from California, I'm hiring people as freelancers and contractors and designers. In the last six years without an income tax, we've had massive growth in our state tax revenues. What's also interesting is that our own governor's uh, budget group is projecting we're going to have another $5.6 billion increase in the next four years in state tax revenues based on the system we have today. And that's because we have a system that is encouraging investment, encouraging economic growth, and encouraging uh, people to take the long-term view of moving and being successful here in the state of Washington. Happily, our state legislature has been responsible and has been funding priorities like education. In fact, education spending per student has gone up $3,000 in the last six years. There is a group of people that is pushing an income tax, but um, I hope that, that the people of Washington will reject it.